man, when I say I threw the wildest, the wildest haymaker I've ever thrown, bruh. Oh shit, hold it! Was like, oh, shiny, you know, I had it like that. He ain't lying. I'm a cold stepper, I slob with Berettas. 50 and OB, the pack made weather. I'm the trendsetter that get your bitch wetter. I'm getting cheese, no cheddar. I'm the greatest, nobody better. I got the diamonds, look how they glitch. She not my bitch, while she geek for a kiss. Niggas, they hating, they be on my dick. Lock and low, pop off the Glock. Body gon' fold, watch how it drop. Yo, what up, Bump Gang? It's Trey, aka Bump, and you watch Bump TV, you kid. You know what I'm saying? Today I'm bringing y'all another story time, man. Last time I told y'all about how I lost my virginity. Y'all ran it up, so you know what I'm saying? It's time to get y'all another one. So basically, in this story time, we're gonna get a love. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna go way back, you know what I'm saying? The story time of the first time Bump TV got to fight. Now, me personally, I don't fight. Like, I never really fought, like, if, if you if, if I'm fighting it, it got to be a good reason why we fight. Because I don't just go around just fighting niggas. Like, I know I do a nigga, but like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't be fighting. There's no point in fighting. Man, I'm just going to jump straight into it, man. Make sure y'all bump the likes up and bump the subscribe button up. You know what I'm saying? And ring that bell if you new so you can notify when I drop a banger. Because that's all I drop. Get in tune. You did. And everything in the story time is completely true. You know what I'm saying? I don't care for nobody. Obviously, I'm being bold enough to post this. So you know what I'm saying? Everything in this bitch is true. You know what I'm saying? We ready to just go hop straight into it, man. And videos are included. So stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so it's my junior year. You know what I'm saying? Everything happens in your junior year. I swear, it's like right before you were senior. It's always something that happens. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I was a junior, and um, it was almost the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? And back when I was in school, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, it was was the shit like so this girl had posted one one night and i wouldn't like it so she had gave me a to be honest and you know usually after i get it to be honest i start going crazy like i start saucing up like i don't know exactly what i said i have the screenshot stuff that will also be included so i'm gonna just leave this. i'm gonna give y'all the screenshots and all that but basically i had went to dm and i slid and said something and you know what i'm saying we had a little conversation until somebody intruded in the conversation now when i be telling y'all like when i even be in the videos and i be like you know i don't care if you got a boyfriend i don't care if you talking to somebody you entertaining somebody i just don't i honestly don't care like it's not a joke like it's it's for real like i really could give a fuck so uh her boyfriend dms me back and i'm just like what up nigga you in the cat you didn't join the conversation this is a group chat now Lawson. so i remember we was just talking shit like he was like on some disrespectful shit like i ain't care like i was just trying to get i was trying to holler at his shot you know what i'm saying i mean yeah that's wrong on my part i knew a little bro i knew him since like middle school i damn sure didn't care then like nigga, like this talk so basically we were just talking shit and then he was like sending me threats like if you keep dming her we're gonna have some problems and stuff like that i'm just typing away like who the fuck you scared so we was arranging a f but i guess he was like basically like he gonna whip my ass we see me da, da, da. so basically long story short we was just typing and shit until like we settled it like we was gonna fight now me i'm not the type to fight over females i was just fighting because he was disrespectful i'm not gonna let you talk to me any kind of way so i was just like all right you keep being disrespectful now we gonna fight like i ain't give a fuck about the girl so it was one day we was all in the lunchroom and he kept looking like but he ain't want no pots for real for real. they was going a couple of my boys walked over to him and was like gonna fight bum but what you gonna fight him and i guess he was saying nah because it was exam week now exam week niggas trying to get the fuck about that grade level you know what i'm saying but me i didn't i didn't i honestly could care less like, i didn't care he was talking shit so i'm like all right we're gonna fight like i don't i don't give a fuck about no exam so he telling everybody he's not gonna fight me because it's exam week and you know he got an exam i'm like you sound like a dweeb like so i'm just walking around like everybody on my side like everybody's on my side like this dude like he did ain't nobody ever fucked with him like one he was a lame two he used to talk a lot this shit for a little nigga and three like i'm bummed the fuck <laughs> like 11th grade i ain't even gonna lie that's when my clout started to go up a little bit like i was lame as hell knife or two but 11th yeah niggas knew who the fuck i was so everybody like bro you better crush his ass like simple like that nigga is that nigga is little like you better do his ass so i'm like you know i'm talking about shit i'm like yeah nigga i'm ready to crush this little nigga 
over there doing Floyd Mayweather shit. Like, I'm really crazy. I was turned as a bitch in that lunchroom. Like, it was like all the hype was on me. Like, so it was the day of the fight, and I remember everybody was in the auditorium for some. I think all the kids that that passed their classes or something just got to sit in the auditorium. I ain't passed nothing. I was skipping. <laughs> so I had to skip my class, and I remember Bro was DMing me the whole time. He was like, meet me at the bathroom. Everything, everything happens in the bathroom. I'm talking about 30 seconds used to be live in middle school, boy. What? You ain't go 30 seconds, nigga. We made you go 30 seconds. No cap. So I had got that text. You know, I'm on all bullshit. So I'm like, all right, I'm walking up that bitch. So I go up to the bathroom. I'm dolo. I am by myself. The only people that came weren't even the people I like hung with. It was just the people that was in the auditorium. It won't no Chuck. It won't no Dre. It won't no Keith. It won't nobody. It was just me. So I'm up there. I go up to the bathroom and I'm just like, let's go. Like, let's fucking, like, we up here like so i get to take it off my shit he get to take it off his shit and this is when the fight happened like so when niggas start to fight you know how when niggas ready to fight and niggas always say some shit like what's up what's up nigga what's up i won't with none of that like it was just put your fucking guard put your do something nigga. so as soon as he took off his shit it was me 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 that's when i started realize this nigga was a grabber like so this man had grabbed me and that's when that first clip had stopped that's when the first clip had stopped so then uh somebody went by the other phone what about their phone they start recording again so this nigga steady reaching for my neck so i break off that bitch i'm manhandling this little boy like who the fuck you think you is so then I try to flip his ass. Yeah, I ain't the type to flip a nigga. But if you giving me a reason to do it, then I'm gonna do it. I like fighting. Like I like like I'm like hitting the face. I don't aim for body, none of that shit. I want your face. He ain't lying. This nigga grabbing my motherfucker. Got me on the fucking ground and shit. This nigga start choking me on the ground and shit. So I'm like, nah, get up, get up, like. So everybody like, get up, like get up off him, get up. Start throwing them bitches again. Mm mm mm. Then this dumb ass nigga try to pick me up. Bruh. Nigga start. Paying this shit, struggling this shit. Up, I know y'all hear that nigga. <laughs> you trying to dumb me? Like, what are you fucking retarded? You're not dumping me. So you know, you see me shake my hand like nigga. Oh hell no. Nah. And that's when I started. That's when I was leaking. I was leaking. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how how am I leaking on my lip? Like, cause Bud didn't tag me. He didn't tag me one time. But I think it was like the first clip. When like I had, when he had grabbed me, his arm had like hit my lip or something like that. So it had bust my lip a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when I seen that blood, bro, I was about to beat that nigga ass right there. But he had left. He had left the bathroom. I'm ready to start fighting again, cause I don't, I don't, I ain't want, I ain't want to end it like that. No, I ain't want to end it like that. But he had walked off and he said he was going to class or something. So then they, everybody else was like, all right, y'all do a rematch at the end. So I'm with it. No, I'm saying I'm with it. So it's just up to him now. So we go back to the auditorium. I'm mad as a Bitch, I'm showing niggas the videos. They like, man, he grabbing all that shit. I'm like, I know he grabbing, nigga. I know he nigga clawed me and scratching me like he a little bitch, like he catwoman or something. Like. So once that final bell rung, that was the fight night bell, nigga. That was ding, ding, ding. Time to get your ass whooped. So we told him to meet, go back to that same bathroom when the bell let up. Now remind y'all, it is exam week. If we get caught fighting, that's our ass. So when I say, remember when I told y'all that nobody was really with me when we first fought? When I say a huge ass crap. Crowd. Follow me up them steps, boy. Like, it reminded me, like, when I used to, like, see a fight and I run up and be like, oh, shit. That's how, that, like, that shit it made me feel turned. So now it's, like, me, Dre, Keith, some other people. I don't even remember. It was some shit. I go up to the bathroom. It's go time now, nigga. It's go time. So I get to take it off my shit again. Surprisingly, he was up there. I didn't think, I honestly didn't think he was going to be back up there. But he was up there. And he, and it's, it's like, he, he was, he was turned. He like, all right, it's. I'm gonna whoop this nigga ass type shit. Like, I'm like, alright, nigga, take my shit off. So we take off our shit, and that's when the fight started. So I'm talking about, I try to hit him, I try to hit him. I'm dodging this shit, I'm weaving this shit, I'm doing my dodge and shit. Like, when I fight, I like to dodge, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't like getting hit in the face, like, so I'm gonna dodge shit. So I'm talking about, this nigga start to grabbing again, grabbing the neck and shit. Nigga start to grabbing and shit. So I'm like, bro, get the fuck off. You, like, you see me in the video, like, like, damn, nigga, can you, like, go with me? Everybody in the back, like, let go of the nigga, like, because this nigga. But when I kept saying he kept grabbing, like, some people, like, when you see the video, it look like I'm getting my ass whooped, which wasn't even the case. So then I square up again, and this one, like, he really tagged, man. See, I didn't know how to fight, you know what I'm saying? I, did, I honestly didn't know how to fight. So my guard was kind of like this. What the fuck? It was, like, wide or something. Like, I don't know why it was like that, but it was, like, a wide ass ugly ass guy like that shit was so smart like a nigga just reaching my shit and just jab my ass like i don't know why i used to fight like that i don't even fight like that anymore like so i get to squaring up ugly and shit like i'm mortal kombat 
Luke Kang or some shit, and yeah, he, he, he jabbed, but it like, he didn't even hit me, he hit my, my fucking shoulder. But it looked like he stole my ass, like, so after that, he had grabbed me again, that's when he had grabbed my neck, and this is when I got fed up, cause I'm like, damn nigga, you, you been grabbing me this whole time. So he grabs me, like, he grabs my neck, and like, he puts me with a big ass crowd at. So I'm getting choked going to the fucking crowd, I'm like, what the fuck, like, so I started getting fed up. So Chalk was the only nigga, like, you see in the video, like, Chalk was the only nigga, like, right there, like, it was like he was the fucking ref or some shit, like. So he grabbed me by the neck, and I just remember, like, before he tried to, like, throw a punch, man, when I say I threw the wildest fucking haymaker I've ever ever thrown bruh that shit was so fast and so fucking strong bruh i'm talking about <laughs> i was like oh shiny you know i had it like that so that's when chuck came up and grabbed him and threw him because he's like he fed up too like this nigga keep grabbing and choking and shit like so chuck grabbed him and threw him to the star now i was gonna crush his ass after that hit anyway i ain't need chuck like i said chuck threw his ass into the star and that's when i came up i'm talking about as soon as i before i even seen Chuck do it, like, it wasn't even, I like, on no bank and shit, like, as soon as I, like, as soon as I broke off, somebody was trying to hold me, as soon as I broke off, it was immediately, I'm on your ass, so all I see that nigga in, in the star, I'm not gonna stop, so I hit his ass, like, boom, I hit his ass, like, what the fuck, I'm not ready to stop, so I hit his ass again, this when he grabbed me and pushed me into the, um, it was some, I don't even know, like, a, I don't know, it was some block in the fucking, it was where the sinks and shit was at. So he grabbing my hair, you can see him grabbing my hair and shit. And then that's when Chuck pulled his ass off and threw his ass again. And then that's when I came back and I was ready, I was ready to go back for more, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't done because I was fed up. I, at that point I was mad as a bitch. But Chuck had hold, and held me and was like, all right, nah, get your shit, get your shit, we gone. So that's when everybody was like, get out the lobby, get out the lobby. I'm like, the lobby, what? The, the rest room, nigga? So everybody started running out that bitch. Even he had ran out. He had ran out because he didn't want to get caught. But you know what I'm saying? Me, I was I was mad as hell. So I was, I had no emotion. I was mad as a bitch. I ain't gonna fuck if I got caught or not. So my dumb ass just sitting there like, mad as hell. And Chalk ass like, get your dumb ass in the stall or something. Dude, go act like you using bathroom, bro, before you get caught. And so I go in the stall like, like I'm paying. Security coming in like, y'all know what happened in here a few minutes ago? And we like, nah, we don't know shit. Grab my shit and I love, like. So I grab my shit, we gone, we walk to the bus stop, everybody. I'm like, how does everybody know we fought? And I forgot it was like 30 heads in that fucking restroom. So I'm like, damn, these niggas went down there and said all that shit. I was only bump in the school, like. So when niggas walking around saying bump got the fight, that shit just spread like a fucking virus, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you got your ass whooped. So I'm like, you got, you beat his ass, like. Some people like it was a fucking time. I ain't gonna fuck with nobody, say, cause I know what happened, cause I was the one fighting, like. After that, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it just was what it was. It wasn't really like a fight that would be going around, like, just everybody talking about it. They literally talked about it for like two days, like. I had people walk up to me and was like, like showing me the haymaker part, cause that haymaker was fucking wild as hell. Like, oh. then they were saying, chalk ass wild, he threw his ass. Oh like, we was wild as we wild out that day, you know what I'm saying? So basically, I got away with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Went, took my exam, passed them bitches, got the fuck about them, went to the 12th grade. You did? So the summer came, like, he had even DM me and was like, he whooped my ass, like, you want your rematch type shit. So I'm like, nigga, you a bitch, like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, I will whoop your ass for real, like. So basically, I guess he kept running around saying shit, and he kept DMing me some shit. It was summer, it was high as a bitch, I remember, like, it was yesterday, and goddamn, he was like, he wanted to fight, so I'm like, all right. The fuck? So I had went outside because he had he had said we had to say so I'm outside on the porch with my dog Markel and we on the porch waiting for this nigga waiting on DM me back I'm on live talking my shit I even got the video. Yo ass wanted to talk about that hoe and we not gonna throw her name in it because she for fucking yeah, everybody. I don't give a fuck no more. She do now. We done with her. <laughs> we we done passed her ass on y'all. So I'm talking shit, but that's when I was beef with somebody else at the time. So I used to have beef, but all my beefs. All of my beefs be about females, but I don't know what be wrong with y'all guys. Like, but y'all lame as hell. Like, why y'all be coming for me? Honestly, why do y'all why why do y'all come for me? You mad cause your shawty did what she did with me, but that's supposed to be your girl. Like, what is you talking about? Like, why are you mad at me? Now if I do your ass, you lost your girl and your dignity. Now you look stupid as hell. Dumb ass motherfucker. So I was on live talking my shit, waiting for this nigga to hit me back, and then this nigga takes me back talking about he in Southside. What? You in Southside? Either he was capping, or he was scared, or he was in Southside. I don't give a fuck, your ass is done. So yeah, man, that's the story time of my first time fighting.
Won't really my first time, cause I got in a fight before, but it was like my real school fight. I got in a fight with somebody on the bus, but it wasn't really a fight, I was just whooping his ass. That was in middle school though, it was some little shit. But you know what I'm saying, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you bump the like button, bump the subscribe button up once again, and ring that bell, you know the rest. And yeah, man, that's all I gotta say, man. More bangers coming soon for your head top, so watch how you speak on my name. Shout out to my dog, Keith. And you know, man, we out here, man. It's Bump, and you watching Bump TV. <laughs> you did it? Me and gang in the back with our feet up. Two bitches on our laps and the readers. One fence to that chick like a cheater. She think I'm her man, I don't need her. Me and gang in the back with our feet up. Two bitches on our laps and the readers. One fence to that chick like a cheater. She think I'm her man, I don't need her. Oh. You ain't no shooter. You ain't no killer.